Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm just going to be giving you a quick tip. Now if you're like me, then you've got multiple hard drives. I've got a 120 gigabyte SSD boot drive where I have my operating system, my drivers, and my important software. And I've got a couple other much larger hard drives where I have everything else. My downloads, movies, games, whatever. So when my boot drive started filling up insanely quick, I realized that one of the problems was that iTunes was automatically backing up my phone to my boot drive every time I plugged it in. Okay, so iTunes is already a slow, clunky, just god-awful piece of software. But what frustrated me so much was that there's not even an option anywhere in the preferences to change what hard drive to back your phone up to. Instead, it just defaults to your boot drive, which in my case, fills up rather quickly. So I'm gonna show you guys a way around that and how you can change what hard drive you back your iPhone up to every time you plug it in. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is create the folder that you want your iPhone to be backed up to. In this case, I want it to be backed up to my two terabyte F drive. Next, in the start menu, type this exactly. Percent sign, app data, percent sign, backslash, apple space, computer, backslash, mobile sync, and then hit enter. This is gonna take you to the folder that iTunes automatically backs your phone up to. You'll notice here at the top that it is your C drive, which is your boot drive. And right here is the default backup folder. So go ahead and rename this to anything you want. Now, while holding down the Shift key, right click and select Open Command Window here, and type this exactly. mklink space forward slash j space, and then in quotation marks, percent sign app data percent sign backslash apple space computer backslash mobile sync backslash backup close the quotation marks space and then type in the new location of the folder that you made where you want your phone to be backed up to in my case it'll be in quotation marks f colon backslash iPhone backup. Close the quotation marks and then hit enter. So now any file that iTunes tries to put into this backup folder on the C drive, it will be automatically redirected to the new iPhone backup folder that you created somewhere else. If you want to test this, just drop a text file into the backup folder and then go find it wherever you created your new folder. I'll also demonstrate it for you by backing up my phone in iTunes and showing you that it does appear um, in the folder on the F drive that I created for backups. So guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Uh, I hope that if you're having the same problem as me that this helped. Uh, if you didn't notice, this is for Windows only as I don't know how to do this on Mac or even if it's a problem on Mac. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.